What's up, YouTube? Welcome to episode two of Chris and Chip's Halibut Catch and Cook Edition. So today I'm going to show you guys one of the many ways you can catch halibut. Uh, in this case, we got halibut on some frozen sardine. And in honor of episode two, I'm going to show you guys not one, but two recipes. Trifecta length. So my setup right now is just a one ounce weight with a drop shot and then I have a fluke on top. Just kind of skimming the ground looking for uh, any halibut that might strike this area. Andy my boy! Woo! First spot of the day! Nice. What color are you on? Uh, the root beer one. I, I have a ton of mine. Root beer? The skunk is off for Andy. Uh, throw him on this side. Hi, Bidoo. <laughs> um, I got towels here for people that want to grab. Oh. Oh, I'm getting a bites again. Oh, I'm on. Woo! Yeah, yeah double hookup! <laughs> Alright, let's see what it is. You lost the mic? Lost the good, yeah. It's a little spotty. Nice! He went for the fluke. Here it is. Pretty. Look at his eyes. There you go. Woo! Mike's on. Oh, that's a nice, nice one. Woo! Yeah. That looks like a, what, like a 12 and a half maybe? No, maybe 11. Nice. Skunk's off for Mike. Julio's on. Yeah. Ooh. Oh man, now Julio's out. This is me and Memo. <laughs> big one, dude. That's a big one. Got a Hallie. Oh, 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 I, I can't switch sides. Oh, 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 oh. Nice, nice, nice. Is that Mike? Oh yeah. That's a keeper. Is that how we get it? Memo's on. Dude, that's cool. oh. 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 Don't everyone lean on one side, I feel it. <laughs> you can land it, Memo. Look, look, Wee, Memo, that's a huge one. Huge. Yeah. Here. I, Finger behind the, the plate. I'm sorry. Oh, shoot. I know. Eddie, can you run? Yeah. Arthur. There you go. Bam. You got it. Oh, bring it over. Bring it over. I'm going to put the... Holy... Look at the size of that thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. How about catch and cook? Let's take a picture. Oh my. Time, Memo, here, grab the other end and see how big it is. Okay. Put it on the chin. So 26, dude! All the way to the chin? I, I, I am, I am, right here. 26? Oh 26. my gosh. 26, dude! Oh, shoot! Jew! High five! <laughs> no! That's extra tacos! Tacos! <laughs> So as you can see here, uh, just dangling on the side, we got frozen sardine and a weight. That's all my brother was using. He put um, a stinger on the tail, and that size sardine, grunion right now are biting, so they like that size fish. I got my second spouty, second spouty. I just keep ribbing myself against the wall. 
Damn. That's a good size. All right, we're gonna, um. <laughs> it took the whole thing with it. Eddie, are you up? You can do it, Arthur. I got to stop the boat. Special thanks to my cousin Arthur for taking us on his boat, Haruhime. Taking all the cousins out today was a great way to end the weekend. It looks really pretty cool. Today I want to show everyone how I make uh, mango salsa. Uh, really good for fish tacos. I'll leave the uh, recipe in the description. We're gonna mix it all up. See that I'm in. Do yourself a favor and go hard on the lime. Quarter tablespoon and some salt. About half a tablespoon. Uh, the more time the lime has to mix all the flavors. Um, if it's a little too sour, you can add more brown sugar. The brown sugar is optional, but I think it tastes a lot better with it. In. So this is gonna go on top of our halibut tacos. All right, congratulations to my brother on his first legal halibut. He got a 26 inch, and we're gonna fillet this guy. So this is the line right here. Take off the skin real quick. Just go down the middle, a little tip, and then bring your knife, press your knife against the cutting board, and then use the other side that you're holding as your grip. There we go. This has your grip, you can wrap it around your finger, whatever you need to do, get a good grip, and 
turn on that skin. All right, we got my cousin Mike's halibut. All right, so now we're gonna season all this with, uh, we got some vegetable oil, high temp oil that are going on the grill, and then we're gonna put salt and pepper, just something simple. Oh yeah. Got some corn tortillas on the command. Flaky fish. I was eating with family, so I didn't want to dive too deep on a taste test, but they were bomb. Mm. Like I said in the last video, uh, I was thinking about making some halibut hamburgers, so that's what we're out here to do. And right now I'm heating up some oil, and we're going to get started. I'm just pouring about three-fourths cup of a club soda. In this case, it's a sparkling water, lemon flavor. Got two cups of flour, half a teaspoon of uh, baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder. These are my last two fish fillets of halibut going in. And I washed my hands, I swear. I'm gonna fry some leftover batter, get some little batter crisps. Crispies. Alright, we're gonna take these out. I cut some potatoes earlier. If you wanna cut your bread straight every time, just keep your knife parallel to the cutting board just run your knife straight. So for assembling, I'm putting on some pickled red cabbage with uh, lime and salt. We're gonna put our big pieces of fish fillets. We're gonna slap out some tartar sauce. Uh, remember, I taught you guys how to make tartar sauce in episode one, Grunion Catch and Cook. In this case, I just bought some, but either way, super good. fries are a little soggy, uh, the oil isn't hot enough to crisp them up, so that's why I have some of these crispy batter pieces. Alright, so we made it to the end, we got our halibut hamburgers, uh, my little sister here, Vanessa, she's gonna join in on the taste test, so without further ado,
So take advantage of the size of the fillet.